Construction on the old Capitol began in 1837, the same year that Abraham Lincoln and his fellow state legislators got the Capitol moved from Vandalia to Springfield. Thus, Lincoln was linked to the building from the start. He served in the legislature here, argued cases before the state Supreme Court, and it was here in 1865 that his body lay in state after the assassination. Within three years after Lincoln's death, work had begun on a larger Capitol building, the present one. And so in 1869, the state sold the old Capitol to Sangamon County. The building served out the century as the Sangamon County Courthouse. But by 1900, it had become too small for even the county government. So the county that year spent another $200,000, an engineering feat unparalleled for that day. They lifted the old building up and inserted an extra story at ground level. Then in 1965, the county moved out. And for about a million dollars, the state bought back the building it had sold for one-fifth that price. It was decided to restore the building as an historic shrine. But the question was how? So the architects and historians decided to tear the structure down completely, then rebuild it from the ground up. The inside of the Capitol was torn out, but the exterior walls and pillars were taken apart stone by stone. They were numbered and carefully stored away. The entire square was excavated to provide space for an underground parking garage and a set of offices under the Capitol itself. Strikes and bad weather delayed the rebuilding, but the structure was nearly complete in time for ceremonies marking the end of Illinois' sesquicentennial year.